collectors, today we'll be talking about Warhammer 40k Astra Militarum Carskin Artist Proof. So here we have the figure, a couple of accessories, the card on the side. We have the Astra Militarum Carskin Artist Proof. On the back, we get to see the Militarum figures here. On the side, we have their chapter logo. So, a very cool looking figure. Now, let's get it on the scale and see how much he weighs. Okay, so it's coming in at 12.4 ounces. So, let's get him off the scale and out of the box. Hey, open, <laughs> damn it. Open. Okay, now that we have it out of the box, the figure comes with these accessories here. And this card, the front. And the back. So it's very cool that it comes with a different weapon than the painted version. Very nice. Big old buck shots. So the figure is coming in at 7 inches and 7 and 3 quarter inches with the backpack. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. The head sculpt here. The neck goes down pretty good. Up, right and left without problems. Now he does have this armor on the top of his shoulder so you can just move that up for a nice T-pose. Arms rotate all the way around, has a bicep swivel. Now the armor is attached to that upper arm, so beware. He does have a double bend in the elbow, a wrist on a ball jointed peg hinge. And now he does a pretty good forward and back. He does have this armor on, his backpack is attached to this vest. Now he can spin on that top part and has a waist swivel. He does this much of a split, forward and back. Does have a double bend in the knee. Boot is hollowed out here in the middle, but is on a peg hinge, so it goes forward and back. Also has a, another hinge here, so you get double action for that ankle with a toe bend. So very, very nicely done figure. Now it's up to you to paint it. And uh, this one will be a more difficult one to paint because of all these loose parts and everything. I definitely wouldn't recommend a brush if you're going to paint it. But that is up to you. I haven't decided how, <laughs> how I'm going to do it yet, but I will attempt it. Now here he is with the painted version of the same figure. You'll see that the head sculpts are a little different here. Comes with a little different weapon. So if McFarland does do like he has before, we did see the newly, um, some of the artist proof weapons are the uh, figures getting a paint job. So I would love to see this in the veteran figures get painted and sold. Yes, I understand that that's part of the Warhammer is painting them, but for some of us who need to go back to paint school and are really, really practice on our painting, yeah, I draw, I don't really paint, but you know, it is what it is. So remember to shop around for this guy, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.